Hello, I'm Phil, and uh, today I'm going to uh, follow up on my Airbit 2 drone experience by building a weather station. Now, our drone uh, was quite sensitive to wind speed, so the weather station must be able to uh, measure the parameters of the wind. And here is the Lark weather station, and it's also using a uh, microbit computer to collect the weather data and send it on to um, uh, Microsoft Excel. And um, the data I'll collect is not only the drone data of um, acceleration gyro uh, measurements, also the uh, pitch roll and yawn, it will also collect the wind speed and the um, uh, direction of the wind. So uh, what is um, the weather station? Well, it's an educational weather station. And uh, you can see it actually works with a, a number of computers, not just the micro bit. It will also work with Arduino and ESP computers such as those from M5 Stack, and it will work with the Raspberry Pi. It does this because it's got a very simple interface. So you can either pick the I to C interface or a serial interface, and uh, then use Data Streamer to collect the data. So it measures wind speed, wind direction, temperature, humidity, and air pressure. Quite a compact device. And the cost for me was $142.50. And uh, we, we can look at the specs and uh, see what it's capable of doing. And the software that I've been looking at so far is both Arduino and a simple example of that um, we can see here. Um, we call up the libraries and uh, you can see the different options that are available from the interface. No, not a, a large program, um, and that gives um, a simple interface. But I'm also going to use MakeCode, and MakeCode will allow the micro bit to collect the data. So let's have a look at um, my last project. And I'm going to um, collect um, or log the data into Excel. And uh, here is the, um, uh, the project. The objective is to uh, commission the LARP weather station with microbit. And I'm going to use um, Data Streamer. And Data Streamer has this protocol. So I've got a, um, a time marker, which is dummy, because the um, LARP weather station has its own timestamp, and so does Excel. But you need to have this um, Data Streamer and Excel mark time marker if you want to collect the data. So once we do that, we'll have a look at the hardware. And uh, we need a micro bit, the Lark Weather Station, and it's connected like this. Software-wise, we might actually have a look at um, make code separately, but we use extensions uh, that allow us to um, collect the particular data item, and we're going to package all that up together. And here's our program. And we'll actually have a look at that now. We uh, go to our program and um, blow it up. What I've done, I've got um, the Lark extensions, and I put all those into an array. So after initializing and setting the time, here is the um, time marker for Excel. And I then just forever call up the uh, print function, which um, prints out the um, time marker and also the uh, time stamp and we've got the um, we're starting off with the wind direction speed temperature humidity and pressure and all that goes into excel so you can see the data now being uh, collected by excel this is the um, lark weather station and um, it measures temperature humidity, pressure, and also um, 
wind speed and direction so it has a, a vane here which will um, tell you the direction of the wind and it can tell the speed of the wind uh, by this sensor and I've got it connected to a microbit computer with a DF robot um, interface for microbit and that's going off to my Windows PC uh, where I have Excel collecting the real-time data from the weather so you can see that real-time data now going into Excel and um, as I vary the wind uh, as I vary I'm now varying the vane direction so you, you can see so it's out a little bit in uh, occasionally it goes out but um, you can see uh, that it is collecting the data